All right, what I've done is I've laid out my um, inner diameter circle, which is 31 inches, and then uh, I had my my center lines. I just extended those out, you know, where I where I used my pivot point, and then I bisected it again at 45 degrees to give me eight pi, you know, eight sections of the pi. And I'm going to locate one of these blocks in, in the center of each of the each of the uh, pi sections and that's what I'm going to use to affix my laminations to. So after I do this I'm going to have to figure out how long a board I need to wrap this thing completely one time and that's the other reason I'm using this double uh, is that when I land on the on this double with my first piece I can cut it a little short and still uh, glue it to this block. Now the block is going to be removable because I'm, I'm using screws here. So I'm not quite sure I'm gonna, once I make my laminations, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to glue them to each of the blocks or if I'm just going to glue it to the last one and then uh, possibly remove this block from the back and then screw my, uh, my ring basically right to the tabletop with my, with my Craig jig. But I'm going to see how that goes. Uh, this, the, these things are set up in a way that these screws will not penetrate all the way through. I've already tested it on my, um, my old jig there. So I've got this one set up. What I've done is I've, I've just eyeballed it right in the middle of the pie section here. And I brought these two corners right up to the edge of the uh, layout line. So that's locked in place and I'm going to screw this down. Okay, now that's not going anywhere and my my top surface is, is not harmed at all. So I'm going to continue this process around. Uh, I've got two screws on one side, one on the back. It gives me a nice solid uh, structure to, to uh, wrap to and clamp to. So let me, let me uh, continue doing that. And then when I come back, I'll show you what it looks like. And uh, I'll have my lamination pieces cut. And hopefully I've got a piece of Baltic birch long enough to... to to wrap around that. We'll figure that out in a minute here. Okay, there she is. Got my eight blocks screwed to my, the bottom of, of my tabletop. Uh, the circumference, being that this is 31 and a half inch diameter, is just short of 98 inches. Well, I don't have anything that, that, that is that long, so what I'm going to have to do is take um, some five foot Baltic birch I've got and, and rip that uh, into sections and then splice it here and you know, do, do it halfway this way and then, and then splice it halfway this way so that my joints are are, are lapping over each other. And I think that'll work out fine, but naturally I'm going to test fit it to be sure. So what I'll have to do is to, because I need, um, I'm going to need to, to get my thickness, I'm going to need two, four, two pieces. So I'm going to have to cut, rip it to uh, three inch wide and then slice it into those sections like I had done before in here like this. So I'll end up with four pieces. 
like that. And then with my show piece being on the outside like that. So I'm going to have two joints when I get done that I'll have to de you know, uh, decoratively cover those. But I, I, I think I've got a plan for that. I'm just going to put a little uh, solid maple hard, you know, hard solid piece of piece of hardwood solid <laughs> Jesus piece of solid maple. Uh, just make a little strip to cover that joint and do it in the, in four locations, and uh, I think that'll that'll dress it up pretty nicely. So let me get my pieces ripped, and uh, when we come back. I'll dry fit a couple and see how it's going to work out. This has been a long and uh, learning or educational type process, I should say. I'm going to go with half rounds. I've got my pieces cut. Um, I learned a lesson there too. I, uh, I ran them through my thickness planer and and uh, smoothed up the, the bandsaw edges so they go they they bend much nicer. There's no glue on these yet. Um, this is what I did with my old ones, my old uh, curves. I think they make a nice curved clamping cord on the outside here. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them in those positions. And uh, my, my clamping strategy is pretty much the same as before. I'm going to start at one end and work my way around. So as I, I'm going to clamp this one tight. I'm going to put a call here, a call here like this to pull the edges together, and then I'll run a clamp. I hope I got I got to call my clamps here. I'll, I'll clamp it like this. And then I'll clamp, I'll move to the next one. And I'll pull in these edges tight. And then just work my way around until I get to the to the last one there. So I have to uh, tape my my jig here. It's my actual tabletop, but it's also my jig. Tape these edges so I don't get glue. If I do get any glue sleeping out of there. Um, it won't stick to the table. And then I'll be able to remove the whole thing and then hopefully just uh, attach it with screws this way, the same as I'm doing now with these blocks. If I have to use the blocks, I'll probably end up just using four of them, but we'll see how that works out. So I like the, I like the look uh, uh, and I like the the thickness of it, it's going to be, I added um, one more thickness to each of these. So I had to cut three strips to yield two of these with a couple extra pieces left over, but I don't, I'm not putting those in there, that'll be too thick. So let me, uh, let me get some glue on this and then we'll start throwing it together.
I'm gonna get my rag. Alright, here we go. See a problem already. Mm -hmm. 
Need to put the tape on here. All right, let's try it again.
Okay. <clears throat> All we can do now is wait and see how she turns out. Good so far. So we'll come back uh, tomorrow morning and take her apart.